a very good noon to all of you i hope all of you are hail and hearty right so uh, hi varun good noon i i missed you all too i really missed the 12 pm sessions yes my health is better now thank you for asking and uh, hi sankeetana good afternoon good afternoon so very good afternoon to all of you and yes just give me a second we seem to be on the wrong slide so let me just quickly go back to our title slide yes so i welcome you to this session cat para summary previous year questions right so today we are going to not just look at some previous year questions but our agenda will be to talk about how to understand a paragraph okay what is the concept of a summary then how to approach these questions not just solve them but how to approach them how to understand them and of course then we are going to solve some previous year questions as well right okay then on this note let's begin so i hope your preparation is going fine yes all of you are preparing sincerely taking mocks taking topic tests sectional tests analyzing your performance i hope you're doing that good afternoon akhil hello harshad hi amrit yes i'm doing better thank you for asking hello education world <laughs> okay all right it always seems like that but uh, once the exam is over you'll realize that it was not really the end game okay you have stage 2 also right so not scaring you but just giving you the real picture all right so let's have a look at what we are going to do today so first things first see it's a para summary question right and uh, when students are so obsessed with solving questions they sometimes forget that they need to go to the basics to really understand a question type okay and i'm not saying that if you understand this then all your questions are always going to be correct it doesn't work that way sometimes the options themselves are ambiguous but most of the times most of, most or all of your questions because there are just three questions in cat are going to be correct if you understand the question right right so that is the importance of understanding a particular question type as to how to approach it so to do that first tell me what a paragraph is some of you have covered this with me in para completion sessions yes varun i've booked a session i booked the nmat for october 20 but i'm not sure if uh, we'll take it then because uh, uh, a lot of my colleagues and i we give it together we take the exam together so we have to decide on a common date we were not getting slots so for now we've booked for 20th let's see if we appear for it or not right good afternoon soni anuja so what exactly is a paragraph it's a para summary question it's a bunch of sentences but not just any sentences right so these sentences bear some relationship with each other right i'll not say okay this is a laptop it is raining outside this will not probably come in the same paragraph right so the sentences are related or interconnected to each other okay that means there is a common theme that binds these sentences so whenever a writer you know separates a chunk of information into a paragraph the idea is always that okay this particular chunk of sentences captures some theme and therefore i need to separate it from the other sentences so every paragraph has a theme associated with it and in the para summary question it becomes very important that we identify this theme now all of you must be wondering that this is something that you heard umpteen times but uh, you know when we set to do it in the question it becomes difficult that is because we do not understand the role that each and every sentence in a paragraph plays okay if you start understanding not just the meaning of sentences but also the role the function that they play then you yourself will realize which sentences form the ideas the key ideas of the paragraph the opinion of the author in the paragraph and which sentences are supporting details very important to isolate this ideas or opinions of the author from the supporting details <clears throat> right 
right okay so some of you have just joined good afternoon good afternoon and yes so uh this is equally important with under, along with understanding the meaning of the sentence why because uh, you will not have each and every piece of information in the paragraph summary you will just have the opinions the ideas not even the supporting details at times in the summary right so this is why we need to understand the role of each and every sentence so a paragraph is a collection of interconnected sentences that play a specific role and are bound by a common theme right that is what a paragraph is now what is the summary okay i'm so sorry this instruction shouldn't have been there right so uh, a summary what exactly is a summary a lot of times students confuse a summary with a conclusion something that we process on reading information but that's not the case a summary is not a conclusion it is not what you derive on reading the paragraph right so tell me what exactly is a summary yes so education world sanjeev sir takes a lot of sessions over the app so please open the baidu's exam prep and uh, uh, app and you will find a lot of his sessions there right so yes a summary is not a conclusion then what exactly is a summary see uh although we say that it is the brief of the paragraph it is a it is the paragraph captured in the brief we also need to understand that we do not make a brief of each and everything that we read a brief of the essentials of the paragraph a brief of the essentials of the paragraph see you are given um, an approximately 100 word paragraph sometimes it's more also right and your options try to capture this in 10 15 words so of course they can't give a brief of each sentence out there they will just give a brief of the essentials from the idea sentences right so it's a brief of the essentials of the paragraph once you understand this that okay this is what a para summary is now let's see how to approach the questions yes so when you approach the questions read the paragraph once to understand its meaning right for basically capturing the theme and secondly identify the role of the sentences some students are able to do this in one reading if you're not able to do this in one reading you can read the paragraph twice okay once focus on understanding the meaning of sentences and second notice the role of the sentences are they which sentences are the idea sentences then come to the options okay then come to the options always always eliminate in para summary questions because if you do this that you form your own para summary in your head if you have formed your own brief already in your head and it is not present in any of the options then you will be really confused so to avoid that on comprehending the paragraph and the role of the sentences immediately come to the options and see which are the frivolous options two options are always going to be frivolous with extreme words you know the usual drill extreme words or uh, going beyond the scope of the paragraph then not covering all the essentials so incomplete or covering something additional altogether that's not even there in the paragraph right so uh, these options will be easy to eliminate it always comes down to two close options in that now this understanding plays a very very significant role okay i'll show this to you through questions that how you know when we come to two close questions it comes down to how well we have assimilated what we have read how well we understand the meaning of each and every word that has been used in the sentence okay because every option is going to have certain words once you comprehend the meaning of those words some of them will appear a little out of place to you when it comes to the two close options so the the one where you feel it is out of place that is the one that is not the answer so you eliminate it and you're left with one this is a skill that you build with time and this is what we learn through questions today i'll probably not be able to convey it as well to you theoretically okay so let's do that 
okay so now there are some questions here in what time should we be able to solve a, a para summary question uh see usually in case you take 30 minutes for your rc passages like 30 minutes for those 16 questions then you are left with 20, 10 minutes for your uh the va portion all the eight va questions right so uh eight questions 10 minutes so a little over a minute is what you get for a para summary question right so i understand that the time is less but if you practice a lot of questions and then this pro this process this drill becomes very automatic okay understand the meaning understand the role eliminate two options easily between the two notice each and every word okay notice which is closer to the paragraph notice whether the author has given extreme opinions or not it's a neutral paragraph notice the tone so even the tone helps right sometimes the tone is the tiebreaker so uh when you do this again and again, it becomes a regular, usual drill, right? So let's let's uh, try to solve that problem, Naman, today. Okay, let's see why that happens through questions and if we can overcome that, right? Uh, no, so Varun, we choose the best out of the lot. Sometimes the correct answer will also not cover all the essentials. That may also happen. That has happened in CAT previous year papers. That's why I said that don't form your own uh, opinion before elimination. Just comprehend, okay? Understand the rule and then start eliminating immediately. Because you may feel on looking at all the options that, you know, you could have written a better, better summary there. That it's not the ideal answer. We have to choose the appropriate answer, not the ideal answer. Right? But yes, we have to choose the one that covers the most significant information comprehensively that option is our answer right okay let's come to the questions but before that the directions the passage given below is followed by four alternate summaries it's a paragraph really choose the option that best captures the essence of the passage so whenever you have this essence it's a summary question only right okay so let's go to the first question. I'll just hide myself if I'm hiding the question. So give me a second. I'm yet to become visible to myself. Okay, no, I'm not hiding anything. So this is your first question, okay? Um, it's a very topical question paragraph nothing philosophical or abstract so shouldn't be difficult to comprehend it all comes down to elimination easy question from your previous year paper yes let's see what you say Okay, I've got one response already. All right. Others. All right, all right. So I've got four twos, five twos. Okay, all right. Others. Okay, okay. Quite a few twos here. So, others, do we agree? Karthik, those who have not answered yet. Amrit, what do you say? Harshad, yes, no negative marking here, tell me the answer, so basically I've got a lot of twos here with some ones and fours sprinkled here and there, 
okay some threes also all right all right let's have a look so uh, first of all tell me has the author given opinions such as uh, brazilians are misled that you know brazilians are misled has the author given such an opinion tell me that brazilians are misled so uh, whenever any such opinion is given in your option you have to see whether such an opinion was given in the paragraph or not no the author simply says that despite recent improvements the brazilian economy is still painfully unequal that is what the author has said that it is still painfully unequal it does not talk about people being misled okay similarly while a lot of you have given me the answer to tell me has the author talked about this anywhere that uh, they are unaware that many brazilians are unaware of the impending problems from rising inequalities in their society impending means you know uh, problems that are going to come soon right so unaware of the impending problems has this been discussed that they are not aware not at all discussed so this goes beyond my paragraph so see this beyond the paragraph extreme yes then uh, and look at this it is likely to destabilize the brazilian economy in the next few years this prediction is not even present completely alien okay so again eliminated the only option that is left here is one most brazilians feel this see it is given here most brazilians feel that they they have benefited from the recent economic events okay so what are these see ideally i understand that the word events should not have been used right but then it has been used here uh, this is because most incomes are rising fast with higher minimum wages and very low unemployment so with these events these are the events that we are talking about but the poor the poor continue to to be dealt unfairly by the state yes this part is closer to the paragraph why because the state is charging them the income tax right they are paying the biggest share of their income in taxes and the state is the state means the government so and the state is giving them such few government services yes the least they are getting back in government services so this treatment is by the government charging so many so many taxes or charging a huge amount of tax and giving them such few government services right so we have to stick to our paragraph right and a uh, lot of times we feel that okay the lengthiest option is going to be the answer that's not always the case okay don't be under this impression uh, also uh, there was a contradiction here so understanding this contradiction was important the author said that okay fine this is what most brazilians say but poor people poor brazilians are still suffering because of some state actions okay because of some state norms so this contradiction had to be captured in the para sum right misled future predictions unaware not given not given so eliminated okay so we have chosen the best out of the lot here this was a very topical paragraph nothing abstract here right let's have a look at this one A, a relatively general paragraph, but again, it's about work, so I'll not call it abstract altogether, right? Let's have a look. Four options. Now you've learned from the previous question that you have to first see what did I do? I read the paragraph, then I realized that there was a contradiction. The author had made a contrast, not really a contradiction. There was a contrast there that most Brazilians were saying something, but the author said. but poor brazilians okay the author had mentioned something about the poor brazilians so i felt that okay these are essentials of the this paragraph and then i eliminated options accordingly right so do the same exercise for this question too
Now, okay. So I've got four from quite a few of you. Four of you. All right. Let's see what the others say. It's definitely four. Okay. All right. Others? Okay. So I've got some nine, ten responses so far. What are the others doing? All right. You're absolutely correct. This fourth is the answer here, right? So I'm glad that you realized that there were two views here. One was this view, which was a sort of a negative view of hard work and the other was a positive view, right? So these were the two key things to, I mean, the one key thing to realize about these two in the paradigm, right? Now, um, how did you eliminate one? Some believe that hard work has been glorified to the extent that it has become meaningless. So has hard work become meaningless? Or the jobs that people are doing? Okay, the jobs, the people have an unsatisfactory relationship with their jobs. Okay, that has become meaningless. Also, this part is wrong. This is erroneous. It's false. Uh, that it has led to greater idleness. No, no. People are actually taking up those things as hobbies that were earlier considered as work, fishing, gardening, right? So it has led to greater activity actually. So this becomes incorrect right here. Okay. Despite some detractors, what does detractor mean? Detract. If you look at it etymologically, pull away. So detractors will be your critiques, your uh, opponents, people who oppose a particular viewpoint. Those are the detractors, right? Now, hard work is essential in today's world to enable economic progress uh, for education and health and to propel innovations that make life easier. Has the author taken such a stand? This is taking a stand. Has the author said that, okay, uh, this view is better, the opposing view is better? The author has not taken a stand and therefore, this is eliminated. So realizing things about the structure of the paragraph is important. I'm emphasizing this again and again. Has the author taken a stand, not taken a stand? What are the two uh, opinions? Okay, are both captured in the option or are they not? Right? Three, hard work has overtaken all aspects of our lives. Right here it becomes extreme. No, it has led to unsatisfactory relationship with our job. We are looking at it as a virtue. That's it. All aspects not given right uh, also the author has not given this opinion this has no this opinion has not been given so absolutely correct fourth is the answer i'm glad that you were able to eliminate it this way right uh, just cementing the process uh, by telling you why the other options were incorrect okay absolutely correct two and three are opinionated pragya i agree so, uh, Trump, we just discussed this. A little over a minute will be available to you in the CAT exam. So, accordingly, you should solve even right now. Okay. All right. Then let's come to the third question. So, this one, uh, again, it's not philosophical, abstract. Usually, why do I state this upfront? Because uh, sometimes students face a problem in such philosophical paragraphs. So, if you are also one of them that you face a problem with philosophical abstract paragraphs then first things first solve all your previous year papers because in some slot or the other one or two questions you will find to be philosophical or abstract in the previous year papers so solve them it will expose you to such questions the other way to solve this to address this problem is that you read such passages actively you read such articles actively that are philosophical abstract. You will find them in ample number in all the sources that I keep suggesting to you, Eon, Arts and Letters, etc, etc. So start reading such stuff and they'll become easier gradually and start solving such questions. Okay, so not philosophical. Let's have a look. Question 3 from your CAT 2021 paper. Drudgery is very boring, mundane, menial work, Sony. Something that doesn't give you enjoyment.
let's see. All right. Okay. This is from CAT 2021, slot 3. Okay, quite a few of you saying 4. Others, do we agree? So one common theme that you see running through this is that our intuition is also following a pattern. It is also based on data, right? It's not something that's a, a just an emotional response, right? It's a result of these neurochemicals firing in our body. Soma, somatic means related to the body. Psycho is brain, so brain or our mind. Soma is our body. Good, 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 good. So, uh, absolutely correct. Four is the most comprehensive summary. So, here I was very happy with the summary also. It captured all the essentials, right? Um, if you look at the uh, first three options, first of all, the, the focus of the third option, I eliminated this, I think, uh, the fastest. It seems to be on big data. Have we said that big data is based on rational thought? We have mentioned big data just in the last sentence, right? I don't see it anywhere else. Yeah, so uh, we have just talked about big data here and we have not talked about rational thought in the context of big data at all, right? So, eliminated. Okay, uh, two says intuition draws from deep memory and may not be. So, this becomes false. This is not stated so, this connection is distorted in a way. This connection has not been made in the para. This is false. Okay. Intuitions are automatic processes and are therefore faster than rational thought. Okay. Uh, and so, decisions based on them are better. Now, while it's not something that's, uh, you know, uh, completely incorrect here. We see that, okay, they are automatic processes. Yes, they are faster than rational thought, right? Now, decisions based on them are better. Is this given that decisions based on them are better? We have just been told that, that those decisions are also based on data, right? We spot patterns and then we take a decision. But better not given to us. So, when it is not given to us, no. Moreover, 4 is covering each and every essential. So, uh, even without this explicit comparison that I am making, you realize that 4 is a better answer because it first tells you how the author has defined intuition. That it's, uh, you know, these neurochemical firings based on pattern recognition. The word pattern had to be there in the para summary in this because it's all about spotting and recognizing patterns, right? This is given later on also. And draw upon a rich and vast database of experiences. This part is also important that it derives diverse qualitative experiences. So, absolutely correct. Four is the answer here. I hope it is clear to you why the other options are not the answers. Those who marked two, this was a careless mistake because this is false. This one is false as per the paragraph. Such options are very easy to eliminate, should be easy to eliminate for you, right? So, read the paragraph carefully. Okay, so this is by mistake. This is question number four, right? Let's have a look at this question four again from your previous year paper.
Okay. Others, what do you say? Okay, I've got one also, three also. Okay. <clears throat> Easy, right? Now, um, the thing is that in this question, if I analyze it, if I overanalyze it, I'll realize that, okay, this uh, paragraph is not just about the definition of the McGurk effect, but also uh, the fact that it has sparked an abundance of research, that what is the reason for its great impact, right? However, as I said, that's why I said that, you know, understand the paragraph, but then eliminate then your job is to eliminate. You have to find the most appropriate answer of the given lot, right? So here, if you see, I think one and two could be easily eliminated here, right? Because what two says is erroneous. <clears throat> what two says is erroneous, right? So when the when the quality of auditory information is poor, the visual information wins over the auditory information. Is this given anywhere? Tell me. We are talking about a multi-sensory illusion that when you hear one acoustic speech signal with another uh, consonant after dubbing, okay, with incongruent visual speech. So, uh, we were not saying when the quality of the auditory information is poor. We were actually doing this on purpose, okay, uh, that with incongruent visual speech, it was heard as another consonant. That is what was happening. Uska quality kahin pe bhi poor nahi tha. So, two could be very easily eliminated. Then, when the auditory speech signal does not match the visual speech movements. Okay, so now this, this sparks my interest. Right? Let's see the, other, uh, the next thing. The acoustic speech signal is confusing and the integration of the two is imperfect. Okay, but have we said that this integration is imperfect? Tell me. That this integration is imperfect. We are saying that it was heard as another consonant altogether. That is da da da. Right. So, agar hum isko baba ba ko incongruent visual speech ke saath dub kar rahe hain, we are hearing, we will hear another consonant altogether. Right. We are not saying that this is imperfect integration. This is not, nowhere does it say that this is imperfect integration. So, this part makes it absolutely incorrect okay so while the first part sparked my interest i read the other part also carefully this is important what a lot of times when students are short of time they'll just read this part okay yes this this actually fits and they'll mark the answer don't do that okay three while it is not incorrect while it is not incorrect that okay this has been replicated many times it is also a demonstration of multi-sensory integration right it is a striking demonstration of multi-sensory integration, but it's not the essential point. The major, see, majority of the paragraph is first devoted to explaining what is this peculiar thing that is happening. So that is explained in fourth. Visual speech, which was mismatched with auditory speech, it can result in the perception of an entirely different message and this illusion is known as the Mecca effect. So important that we understand कि अगर हम दो सही options हैं, something, this, three is also true as per the passage, four is also true as per the passage, then which is the one that is more important? Understanding this is also a key to marking answers correct. So, very happy that you identified this, that fourth is the answer. Some students do get confused in this question. Okay. All right then, let's have a look at this one. So it says it talks about some alliance. Let's see what sort of an alliance.
Okay. All right. So I've got some responses, 2, 3, 4. This is slightly more general than the other paragraphs that we've done. Slightly more philosophical or abstract. Okay, so I've got twos, quite a few twos, some threes also. Okay, all right. So what is happening here, understanding, see now vocabulary plays a role here. If you do not know the meanings of terms such as incumbent, emanating, right, then uh, you will basically have more hiccups while reading this paragraph. Not that you won't understand it, but it will take you slightly more time, right. Incumbent, basically the prevalent, somebody who is in a particular position at the present point of time, that person is the incumbent, okay. So the incumbent president, the person who is currently the president. Right. So the unlikely alliance of the incumbent industrialist and the distressed and unemployed worker is especially powerful. So there's an alliance. There is a sort of a, a collaboration that is happening in between these two sets of people, industrialists and this distressed unemployed workers. It is unlikely. Okay. And why is it powerful? Amid the debris, the debris is basically... Uh, the waste that is left when a building is destroyed, right? The debris of corporate bankruptcies and layoffs. So in the aftermath of that, this alliance is especially powerful. Why? So the author now tells us how this, uh, this alliance has actually been formed. So what happened was that when an economic downturn happened, or usually when an economic downturn happens, the capitalist is focused on costs and therefore basically fire work, fires workers, okay? So the capitalist wants to save costs okay and the unemployed worker is actually anxious right along with all the unemployed workers who are there so what they do is these unemployed workers they organize together now using the cover and the political organization provided by the distressed so using their grouping the group that they have created the capitalist captures the political agenda the capitalist forms an alliance with them and captures that political agenda, basically uses that political organization for his own interests, for his or her own interests. So, the anxieties of the unemployed and their political organization is used by the capitalist to set the political agenda to suit their economic interests. So, two is our answer here. Right. Let's have a look at the other options. I got uh, three also as a response. So, an unlikely alliance of the industrialist and the unemployed happens during an economic downturn in which they come together to unite politically and capture the political agenda. This part is erroneous. The first part was fine. Till here it's fine. Right. They don't come together to capture the political agenda. Who is capturing the political agenda? The capitalist only. Capitalist ka hi fayda ho rahe, ultimately. Okay. So this part, this latter part is incorrect. Okay, so I hope this is clear to you why 2 is not the answer, Those, uh, why 3 is not the answer, those who mark 3. I also got 1 or 2 force. Uh, it creates competition because of which capitalists uh, capture the political agenda created by the political organization provided by the unemployed. Um, this is not the reason and you can see Fine, this part is fine that the capitalist, capitalists are capturing the political agenda created by the political organization provided by the unemployed. Yaha par kya ye wala part sahi hai, the latter part is correct. But uh, this is not the reason behind it. The reason is not the competition. Okay, the reason is that we they want to save on the costs and they want to further their own economic interests. Okay, costs of the competition emanating from free markets it's not because of competition it's the costs of that competition right so the first part here is incorrect all right 
Okay, okay. Hope this is clear to everyone. So we can move ahead. Yes. Let's have a look at this question then. Achha, sorry, this is a repetition, is it? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, oh my God. Uh, I'm so sorry. I was supposed to... Uh, this, I forgot to change this part here. Just give me a second. Huh? I'll just, I'll just do that. So, uh, some, some goof up has happened in today's presentation. Just give me a second. Huh? I'll just change it for you. I can't even tell you to read the options in the meanwhile. It will not be of much use. Hmm. Meanwhile, if you have any queries, please ask. Right. Uh, I hope uh, you've got some insight into how to eliminate the two close options. Right. I saw that many of you got your answers correct today. And these are your previous year questions. So it's not like I have deliberately given you easy questions. Right. This is the actual level that is expected of you. So if you've got them correct, that means probably, let's say when you solve, there is some time pressure that uh, results in your, uh, let's say, panicking or something like that because of which you're getting them wrong. So now explore the reason as to why you get them wrong when you got them correct here. Right? Important to do that. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm giving you another question. It's about creativity. Okay. Give me a second. Uh, 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 okay, I've added it here. Just let me know if it is visible to you. Right. I'm sorry. This is how I added it here. Let's see if it's visible to everyone. Okay. Thank you, Karthik. Thank you so much. So the last question for the day to boost your confidence further. Right, right, right. Okay. Facing an issue in para jumbles. Why get three positions correct and one wrong? Okay, okay. So this is actually a challenge. Uh so Ayushi, uh, again, see the thing is that non-MCQ para jumbles, there is there the you know uh, the probability of getting it correct is of course lower, right? You have to arrange all the all the four of them. So I would suggest that you see the reason as to why this happens. Usually, why it happens with students is that they are left with one sentence that they are unable to place. So they either place it in the beginning or they place it at the end, thinking that अच्छा बाकी के तीन तो हो गए अब चलो ये शायद ऐसे ही आएगा. So don't rely on that. Possibility ki ye shayad aise hi aega, ye opening yoga hai, closing yoga. You have to identify three mandatory pairs. There is no other solution actually. Okay. So that's the problem in such questions. So I've got four responses, five responses, all right. So the, the word that I'm hiding is obsession. Okay. Four, two, Okay, okay. So, uh, I've got quite a few fours here. I've got two twos here. Now, uh, four says creativity has proliferated. What is the meaning of proliferated? Proliferate is basically 
when something increases okay in when something increases in number in amount we say that it has proliferated so creativity has proliferated to the extent that it is, it is no longer a stable process that it is no longer a stable process and its mutating identity has stifled the creative process has creativity prolifer increased to such an extent has creativity increased this proliferating success what has proliferated these encyclopedias these handbooks that are serving creativity research these organizations that are devoted to its study and promotion they have proliferated they have increased creativity to in fact hum bol rahe paragraph mein kitna ho hi nahi raha this idea is getting in the way of real creativity it's actually hampering real creativity so four is incorrect four is going against the paragraph the paragraph is saying ki isme problem aa rahi hai okay it's being hampered whereas this is saying that creativity has increased to such an extent no so option 2 yes that is the answer good uh, the value assigned to creativity today has assumed such proportions that the concept itself has lost its real meaning and it this is hampering yes this is hampering see it is getting in the way of engendering is basically producing real creativity right we have become very obsessed with its value it has become so invested with value that means it is we have we put so much value on it that's the idea okay so that's why 2 is the answer not 4 i hope this is clear to everyone if not please ask me and i hope you were able to eliminate 1 and 3 this time happy to see that it was either 2 or 4 1 and 3 you were able to eliminate impossible impossible such words again they are uh, your uh, alarms okay alarm bells should ring in your head on seeing such words destroyed right okay all right then two is the answer so i hope what we did today part of it was clear to you apologies for this goof up in the slide and uh, good in case you were able to solve most of these questions they were from your very recent cat previous year papers this is the actual level that is expected of you if of course the paper goes by the previous year's trend right i hope you take you taking this mock in case you're planning to take the nmat then do take this uh, it's all the more important because the exam is adaptive you're already aware of that and yes this is our cat 23 comprehensive program so in case you want to enroll with us now is a good time and you will get a lot of other things apart from the, let's say just cracking the exam right uh, we go beyond that as well okay also you can avail of our test series in case you want to solve more mocks you're done with your mocks existing mocks then you can consider buying this right you get 70 plus mocks here right And yes, this began yesterday. Last lap to CAT 2022. We are going to come with highly relevant focus sessions in these 20 uh, days when this when this happens, right? So join us at 7 p.m. every day. Okay, and welcome, welcome all of you. Uh, para jumbles, we'll have sessions on them. Varun and others, don't worry about it. We'll have more sessions on para jumbles. Okay, thank you so much, Parth. Means so much. Thank you, Amrit. You too. Have a good day. Welcome all of you. Welcome. Follow us follow us on various platforms thanks again bye bye